Going back to the Philippines. It's been asked a few times. Um, the birds are busy in the background. Uh, the reality is we've got th three months left to sort this residential thing out. It's been absolute pig. Uh, but now I picked up this contract in the UK that should sort our money money issues out because they need to see cash flow. Um, so once that starts flowing in there, I'm sure things will start to drop into place. Uh, that work may run to next April as well. So that may have an impact on being able to fly. The other side of that being is I'm trying to develop some things for the call center, but now we've got cash flow, um, they may actually develop a bit faster. You're looking at being able to bank three weeks out of four with the, the money that's coming in once it starts flowing. Uh, with that in mind, that means that I can actually buy a property here, I can um, kickstart the call center with the right idea, and pretty much we're not in a rush to go back to the Philippines unless we had to. I've got several people come forward that actually want to go to the Philippines and operate the call center for me. And there's a couple of people I would actually trust to do it. And I may even consider it. But at the moment, everything's still in idea phase. I think the language school idea is going to be one of the key players for this year. I also think that some of the stuff I'm involved with from next week may actually be stuff I can get the call center doing as well. Uh, so there's lots of stuff going on that quite simply could allow us to go back to the Philippines quite rapidly, but at the same time, we don't need to. There's no sense of urgency. The um, call center could be started up within probably a week. Uh, by the time we get the new internet lines back in. I am hoping they've actually developed the infrastructure a bit better so we can actually get a commercial line to it instead of five residential ones. Um, does it affect the business? Absolutely not. I mean, this is the thing. A lot of people assume there's going to be some major difference between them. There isn't. Um, when the IT park was down with no power and its internet was down, we were still operating because one of our setups is actually uh, radio. Um, it's using transponders for its internet, which kept us kept us online, and not that fast, but did keep keep us alive. Um, but yeah, the Philippines. I think realistically, if we can manage it for Christmas, I'd be happy. But it would only be for two weeks to maybe a month. Um, if I could do it at the start, maybe January next year, that would be good as well. Uh, all depends on how this contract goes that we've managed to put together. Also the residentia, because what happens is, you see, I get my residentia, then I've got to go to a meeting in Alicante so April and the kids can get their residentia. And once that's done, we can get a family permit. The family permit allows us to travel. And once we can travel, we can then go wherever we want on the planet. Um, I know there's a few people want to meet the, my wife and the kids in the UK, so I may have to do a trip there first um, before we head all the way back to the Philippines. But one of the key problems I've got now is everyone's content in La Mata, and as such, I think we're going to be here long term. makes it much harder to uh, move to another area um, because the kids are settled. Um, it's a beautiful area, etc. And... Even my, my wife's made a few friends here as well. Uh, myself, I'm used to moving around because I come from an ex-forces family. So we, we travel around. It's just normal for us. Um, we're used to making new friends every two, three years. But my wife and the kids, it's a different kettle of fish. And although I like being the independent way I am, I can also understand it from their point of view um, that they're used to being rooted. Uh, for example, the Philippines is still much doesn't matter how big the areas are um, there's still very much a village mentality where half the neighborhood is related uh, anyway it's enough for me thanks for watching